for today. Uh, we want to see how to input um, our consolidated signal into the portfolio rebalance tool of IB. Um, for that, I used the file we had created previously. This is only for 200,000, um, but I'm going to squeeze that into my 1 million paper trading account because anyhow, um, the only thing we need are the percentage allocations and not the, the absolute share values. Um, for that, you can see I just export the current allocation. For that, just click export, um, select the file name, and then uh, you can open the exported CSV file into Excel. And we want to have a look at how this uh, looks like. This is the uh, file which I just exported. Um, and here, uh, what I want you to see is um, the allocations. Um, so currently, close to 100% allocated to TLT, nothing to spy, and the remainder sitting in cash. And take a look at the structure here of the columns, A, B, C, D, and then column J. Um, because this is the file structure we are going to um, need to create to import our allocations back into IB. And for that, I just <coughs> um, delete um, the extra columns in the file. And now you can see we have column A called DES, B is the ticker, SPY TLT, C is stock, D is the exchange, in this case smart Amex. And I'm just going to create a file structure which is very similar to that in my other file, but I delete everything um, and only have TMF. Um, the symbol and the weighting left. Now, importantly, weighting you can see in my Excel life percentages. We're going to need a full value. Um, so, what I'm going to do is multiply the weighting by 100 to get rid of the percentage sign. Copy that down. And now you can see this exactly the structure IP requires. So what I'm going to do is I just copy and paste the percentages in as value and the same with the uh, symbol. And then extend the other rows as needed. Um, here I'm assuming that you're only trading stocks or mutual funds or ETF. Um, in case you're not, you would need other identifiers like Forex um, or others, but in our case, it's just stocks and everything goes through um, the default exchange smart index. So now I've created the file. I just exported it back into a different file name and I'm going to import it now from IB. The file is called rebalance test upload. I just open it. And now you can see how IB populates the rows with our new structure and new percentages. And now I always do a couple of cross checks just to make sure that all tickets are included, all percentages match. Put it open my sheet again. And here's some tricks. I do, for example, if you don't input uh, or don't put um, empty rows to zero, I be just ignores that row which means for SPY and TLT, just to be sure, I input 0%. I make sure the target percentage gets up to 100, and now I create the rebalance orders. And again, you see one TLT sell order, the rest are buy. You 
can see all our type IP with algo. And now I hit transmit. All orders are truly fitted, and you can see how they are filling up little by little. Just looking a couple of seconds. This normally takes five minutes to ten minutes, depending on how the market is. Now everything is filled, you can see the target is 100%, only by mistake I had deleted one order for one ticker, it should be 7.2%, so I just create again a rebalance order for that ticker, hit manually transmit, order confirmation transmit, now the order should be filled also in a couple of minutes. In this case, just to speed it up, I'm increasing the limit well above the, the ask. You can also see updated market information, volumes, etc. And now the order is filled. And again, just a cross check to compare our Excel sheet with the updated IBM allocations. And again, even if we could further automate this process, um, I think just these reality checks and a bit of manual handling are worth a couple of minutes more and now here's my new portfolio of million dollar new allocations if you do that a couple of times probably the whole process will not take you more than five minutes and another five minutes to wait until the orders are filled and you probably will 